But four minutes have gone already, so it's going to be interesting to find out how Maria's uh, got things going down here. What are you uh, actually Sarah doing? Sarah peeled the potato. Mm -hmm. We're just getting the potato <laughs> on for mashed potato. Now she's mm. preparing the broccoli. Yeah. How, how did you get soup. on? Did you enjoy peeling that potato? It was all right. It took me a bit of time. Why didn't you cook then? Was it was it mum and dad or? Yeah, I just well, I've I just I come home from school and then I've got homework and I've got singing and I can't I don't have time mm. to peel potatoes, do I? <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> We've decided to kind of invite a bit of uh, Farrell's family along today. You know, a couple of Farrell's family just to find out. You know what she was really like growing up because she really is a singing sensation. Who should we go? Should we go to Nan or Dad? Dad's here. Hello, Dad. How you doing? How are you? Yeah, good. Was she uh, particularly good in the kitchen growing up? She'd have a, a job to spell the word kitchen, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thanks, Dad. Doesn't wash up. Doesn't dry up. Just give me lots of things. Uh, you, you did it all for you. <laughs> um, I, I do the majority yeah. of it, yeah. Dad's also there with Nan. Yeah. So, uh, was Nan a big influence on your life too? Yeah, Nan's done a lot of cooking. She used to teach me how to make Welsh cakes. Oh, yeah. Because my granddad's Welsh. He had the recipe from his nan for like to make so Welsh cakes. So this has been passed like, down through yeah, the generations. I'm going to get it soon. So yeah, yeah. my, um, my yeah. nan's taught me how to make Welsh cakes, but that's the only thing I can Well, I don't, I don't think Maria's going to make Welsh cakes for you, but what, oh, what other tips do you want to pick up today? You're quite to. happy with the, the way she's just going to be preparing I'm, the salmon? I'm happy with anything that she does. Yeah, <laughs> just nice having someone cook for you, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What you like. All right, then. Okay. We'll, we'll get back to you and have another have chat. Come on, coffee? Chef, tell us what's happening. Thank you. Pick your basil there. So I'm just preparing the stuff. Okay. Tomato here. So I've got onions. All right then. Going. And we've got loads and of extra saucepans here. Look how you're playing here. Potatoes boiling. <laughs> what's, what's happening in here? Potatoes for my mash. This is my soup going. This mm. can be for my poached egg. Uh huh. Okay. And then I'm going to get a fowl to scoop okay. out the middle here. And then I'm going to get my crust on. There we are, Chef. I'll get you a little spoon okay. to get all that out. I've got the spoon. Have you? You happy? Yeah. Okay. Right. And then fowl. Next job is to scoop this out here gently. Okay. Okay. Yep. Shove wow. the rest in there, that'd be great. Sorry if I get it everywhere. Don't yeah, worry I'm about it, here we are. I'll just sort of cut, cut that across. Like that. I'll, I'll just cut it across there. You can scoop all that out there, but be okay. very careful, all right? Don't show Ali I'm getting hail. No. Oh, he won't mind about that. Are you, are you very competitive too, then? Yeah. Go on. Well, it's salad, you know. Is it? Yeah. He's and very uh, competitive. Have you ever performed with him before? No. What's wrong, Ali? Don't you like my voice? Right don't out. you want to sing with me? I didn't want to say anything, but <laughs> you know I love your voice. We're going to perform <laughs> together in the future, definitely. Oh, thanks. When I'm a boy soprano again. <laughs> How did you cope with being famous at 13 or 14, Ali? As long as you enjoy yourself, you know, don't take it too seriously. That's what mm. I always say. Any tips for Farrell then? No, that's it really. And, you know, she's got a great family behind her and she's always got a smile on her face. So, yeah. you know, and she's got a brilliant voice. Saying that oh. your, your, your nan goes to all your concerts. Oh yeah, she comes to all of them. And nan goes to my concerts as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Always nan, the nans. You better not vote for Ali. You better vote for me. So what Thank about you. the salmon? What are you going to be doing there? Salmon. We're making a crust here for that. So Farrell, I need you to just put your finger mm -hmm. on here. Okay. Get flipping this up for me. Lovely. Got about 12 minutes to go. Plenty of time there. Okay, okay. that's looking good. Press that right, for us. My okay. Press that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go, you're making your own breadcrumb now and all, all your own crust topping. Are you yeah. putting pine nuts yeah, in there too? Yeah, put them in. Lovely. Keep it going. Stop Keep going. Stop. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, stop. Lovely, and we're going to put some pine nuts in there. And this okay. is how you get that lovely crust that you can put on top of... You can put it on top of the salmon. salmon or you can put it on top of a bit of yeah. lamb too, Maria. Yeah, lamb. Anything. Anything, really. Nice bit of white fish cod is quite nice. Mm. Nice sustainable cod. Them in there. Off you go. Really again. Will you put olive oil in there or not, Chef? I might put butter. Okay, lovely. Must be a little bit of salt. Beautiful. All that coming there. together. You take that off. Fab. Okay, okay I'm going to leave you to get on right. with it. Okay, it's the nice sound. Um, interesting it? finding out about those things. Yeah. Often we just think that you get one little sort of a mixture of breadcrumbs and herbs and stuff. And you can only put it on top of fish. But she says, you know, lamb or a bit of pork or something like that, or even chicken. Get that lovely crust, bake that off in the oven. 
Hey, uh, what have you done here then, Chef? Okay, that's my Mediterranean burger, mm -hmm. which is going to go with the aubergine. Uh, tomato. So in there we've got a little bit of onion, mm -hmm. a little bit of garlic, we've got some rosemary, we've got some parsley. Okay. Uh, oh, that's way too much. Okay. Uh, right, well, I did try and ask you. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's tough. You don't need chefs. Fine. Oh, all chefs fine. are tough. They've got 20 minutes to do it. Okay, I've, I've got the water in there, so mm -hmm. we're just going to let that cook out a bit, get a bit of flavour. Okay. You can crumble a little bit of stock cube into that, Lovely, maybe half you. of that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, up there I've got tomatoes roasting with... Uh, some ginger, some chilli powder, some sugar. sugar. Uh, yes, I think so. Okay, so, yeah. and you're just going to blend these together. Yeah, this one's going to be meatballs. Uh huh. So I want a touch of soy for that, actually. Okay. All right, halfway now, guys. Halfway. Ten minutes already gone. A tiny little bit of sesame oil. Beautiful, lovely. So um, it's quite nice to have that little bit of sweetness uh -huh. with. The, oh, that's too mm -hmm. much. Of that. But I, I love a lot of sesame oil in my in my meat uh, oriental meatballs. Funny you should say that. Me too. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> so, Alad, yeah, I need you. Let's put a touch of orange in there. That little bit of zest to be nice in there. We've got the coriander and the chives in there. So, I just want you to make some tiny little meatballs. Okay. Straight yeah. into the pan, chef. Uh, well, yeah, actually. Well, no, do it on the board, and then we'll. Yeah. Okay. Good man. Okay. Lovely. That's gonna. All right. Now, I need to get this mm -hmm. one going, because this is one's go just going to be a big mm -hmm. burger. This Sorry, smells fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know, we're doing all right here. We've got some nice flavours going on, because, you know, we've sort of separated the two of them into the Mediterranean and the, uh, and the Oriental. Mm. That's going to give us a nice mm. flavour profile difference. And talk about flavouring things. How are you going to sort of do... What are we you going to do with the aubergine to make Alad like it? Because he's not a big fan, are you? Not really, are you? Um, when it soaks up it's a lot of oil, it's like a sponge, oh, isn't it? I think aubergine so is you really such a beautiful vegetable. It's so mm. interesting, that soft texture, I think. Yeah. As long as you get lots of flavour in it, it's not too oily. I think the key is, one of the keys is not, <laughs> too oily. not to cook it with too much oil, though, isn't it, Chef? Sometimes I... Well, no, deep, you, deep fried aubergine is lovely. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you've got to have your everything hot, you know? OK. Uh, maybe not as hot as that. That, but that is extremely hot. hot, isn't it? That is hot, dude. Not to worry. That's going to be... Okay, we've got uh, the rice... With the cardamom and the orange. Here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to keep adding moisture to it. OK, here's your spoon. it wants to soak it all up. Mm. And I've got in there so far, I've got, I've got cardamom, orange zest, um, Cream, a little bit of butter and water. Okay, hit that with a touch of sugar. I'm going to add some brown sugar and some vanilla in there as well. Okay, coming this up to the eight minute mark now. Lovely. And you've got uh, the aubergine's going to be happening. What was it like sort of uh, suddenly being used to family suppers in Wales and then suddenly you're travelling the other side of the world? Oh, it's interesting you say that because where I'm from in Wales, we always had farmers markets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I joked about knowing Flossie. Probably still have them now, the sheep, don't they? Yeah. That's, that's what it was like, you yeah, know. Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. So. We knew what we were eating all the time, mm. vegetables from the garden, fish, you know, obviously from the sea. But, um, you know, you knew the farmer that was supplying you. Mm. And now I tend to go to Australia quite a lot singing. Sure. And um, it's the same there. You know, mm. everything's so fresh, everything just tastes so brilliant. brilliant. You've got more of a sophisticated taste now, do you think? Yeah, well, I, I think so. I love food, I really do. Because it yeah. goes well with wine. OK, Chef, tell us what's happening now. We've got... This is me just starting the... the aubergine and just char grill those off a this little bit. This is me just starting the oriental-style mm -hmm. aubergine. I'm going to just put a little bit of onion in there to roast. Now, um, some people might think it's slightly strange to slightly sweeten up the aubergine, but we're going to be hitting that aubergine with a little bit of uh, vinegar and sugar just to give it a touch of sweetness and okay. then a, a, a little bit of... Um, uh, coriander to finish it off. Okay, yeah. coriander, coriander sugar, sugar vinegar, well, or honey. Again, I suppose you could use. Uh, uh, once take again, it out now. Here. Okay, brilliant. Let's have a look at this. Uh, okay, chef, that's cooking down. Yeah, quite we need hard to get now. some vanilla in there. Can you get mm. some vanilla for me, yep. please, Alex? Okay. Where am I now, now this rice down? here is okay. ready to rest. The water okay. has evaporated off. Uh -huh. In there was the onion, a little bit of butter. Uh, in goes the rice. Stir it along to coat it, and oh, and then a little bit of stock and cook it up until the water evaporates and then let it rest. That's okay. how it finishes. Just it. let it rest. How often do so many of us kind of lift it, you know, take it straight from the stove and serve it up? It's a bit sort of gluey, isn't it? So really, the best thing to do is, as Paul said, let it rest. My mum used to cook fantastic rice cook. Just make a few holes in the rice and just cook, put the lid on, let it steam through and it separates beautifully.